Hello everyone. Today I'm Sushrik. Today we are gonna interact with the doctor. He will let us learn and ask questions. Sir. Hi Sushrik. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Hello. Let's start. Okay, sir. So, sir. Now, I want to ask you a few questions related to cardiology and neurology. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So, sir, so the basic definition, what is cardiology? Cardiology is nothing but, yeah, the term cardia means heart and logy is study of something. So, cardiology is study of heart and related diseases and treatment. So, that's all. As simple as that. So cardiology deals with everything related to heart, including its structure, its function, its diseases, and how do we prevent, treat, and various options of treatment. Yeah. Okay, sir. Now, yeah. so, uh, like, what are the main organs included in the cardiovascular system? Again, uh, when it comes to cardiovascular system, you have heart as we know as cardia means heart. So cardiovascular system, vascular system includes the main arteries and veins which carry all this blood to various cells in our body. So cardiovascular system includes heart plus the entire structure of, I mean, uh, arteries and veins which carry blood that is pumped by the heart. Uh, this all includes cardiovascular system. Yeah. Okay, sir. Now, what yeah. is the uh, impact if the cardiovascular system stops working? Uh, for that, uh, you, you need to know what is the function of cardiovascular system. So, uh, what cardiovascular system does is uh, every cell in our body requires oxygen and nutrients, right? Yeah. So, this cardiovascular system with its pumping mechanism, essentially heart does the pumping action. I mean... Uh, blood which is transported all through all these arteries and veins is pumped by the heart. So this blood carries oxygen and nutrients to each and every cell in our body. So when this function, essentially this pumping function is stopped as you asked right now. Uh, so what happens? So each and every cell doesn't get oxygen and nutrients and carbon dioxide is not taken by the blood. So there is no energy for every cell in our body, every organ in our body uh, to prepare energy so that it functions. So what happens? Each and every organ stops functioning. So essentially, uh, without any treatment or without any resuscitation, uh, I mean, without any uh, uh, oxygen and nutrients, so every cell dies, so the person dies, as simple as it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, there are okay. many heart-related diseases and cardiovascular diseases, sir. Uh, yeah. How do we treat them and how do we improve our system? How do we become stronger? Stronger, okay. So, first come, uh, let us come to the treatment part. And there are very various diseases. So, uh, for example, mm, myocardial infarction as you know, as heart attack. So for that treatment is, uh, which is very advanced to your level now, but I'll, I'll say the terms what we call, there is called coronary stunting. Uh, what, what exactly myocardial infarction, infarction is, uh, even heart also requires oxygen and nutrients for pumping, right? So there are two pairs of arteries known as coronary arteries. These arteries, essential function is to pump blood to heart itself. I mean, to uh, supply oxygen and nutrients to heart itself. So when these two arteries get blocked, no. So what happens? Uh, heart function stops. So this is called as myocardial infarction. So the treatment regarding it will be uh, coronary stunting where the block is uh, bypassed or removed depending on various other, uh, which you don't require right now. So that's the treatment part of myocardial infarction. And there are various diseases uh, like arrhythmias, there are congestive heart, heart failure. So uh, treatment depends upon uh, diseases. And 
uh, next question what you have asked uh, what did you ask how to After make the it? system stronger like yeah 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 how to make hard stronger so we have to uh, do yoga uh, first you have to do yoga then there are uh, cardiac exercises so which which improve our cardiac output i mean for athletes uh, the cardiac output is very much higher so their heart rate is around 40 to 50 our heart rate is 70 to 80 normal heart rate so when when you increase your exercise when you do yoga your heart rate goes down even though your heart rate goes down the cardiac output is still maintained so that improves our cardiac function so uh, that will do benefit for your uh, heart and also food food what we eat so when you consume lot of outside food i mean junk food uh there is lot of bad cholesterol which is known as ldl cholesterol this cholesterol get accumulated in these two coronary arteries which i said right now so that cholesterol essentially the block is nothing but cholesterol accumulation which is called as thrombus uh, when when this is accumulated in the coronary arteries you will get myocardial infarction so avoid eating junk food eat healthy food uh avoid refrigerated food yo these are the things you have to do that's all okay sir now like Yo. let's go to neurology so okay. uh, what is the basic definition of neurology sir neurology uh, similar to cardiology neurology is uh, it is the study of neurons neurons is the structural and functional part of brain and nervous system so what we what we refer to as brain is nothing but a group of neurons uh, packed tightly and uh, organized in a very structured manner so neurology essentially deals with study of neurons that is brain and spinal cord and nervous system and this is this is related to it yeah so sir uh, like what does the brain exactly do how does it function yeah brain brain actually uh you know entire human body brain is the masterpiece i mean it sits on the top and it controls each and everything either voluntarily or involuntarily see when you are speaking to me you are breathing but that is not under your conscious control but you are still breathing so who who is controlling all these things uh brain okay brain controls each and everything in your body even the heart pumping blood to each and every cell in our body is also controlled by brain through neurons and nervous system as simple as that so each and everything what you think what you do consciously or unconsciously each and everything is controlled by uh, brain and spinal cord through nerves and what are nerves essentially those are also packed and structurally organized neurons that's all okay sir now uh, yeah. then what does the spinal cord do if the brain is already present the brain controls everything right sir then what is the function of the spinal cord i mean uh, brain and spinal cord essentially comprise of central nerve i mean uh, neurology is divided into two parts right uh, uh, two parts that is central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system includes brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system includes nerves which are arising from brain and spinal cord so the centers of uh, respiration or everything what we do uh, main centers will lie in brain and spinal cord and this message is conveyed to each and every cell through peripheral nervous system through nerves so brain and spinal cord uh, both are actually uh, central nervous system so there is no division like that okay from so. from day ba- from brain will get cranial nerves from spinal cord will get spinal nerves there are 10 pairs of cranial nerves and from spinal cord we have 31 pairs of cranial nerves okay so sir. through these uh, through these nerves will uh, brain and spinal cord will control each and everything in our body yeah okay sir now uh... what is the effect of the uh, nervous system on other uh, uh, organ systems in the body 
Yeah, uh, as I said, uh, each and everything, see, digestion, uh, you, you don't do digestion in your body, right? It happens in your body. So who is doing all these things? Uh, each, I mean, when you eat food, there, there should be production of acid in uh, GI system. So who is telling uh, gastrointestinal, I mean, who is telling stomach to produce acid so that what you ate is digested? Central nervous system again. This nervous system initiate production of acid in your body, in your stomach, so that the food what you ate get digested, right? So all these things, uh, I mean, uh, it, when it comes to respiratory system, uh, every time you talk to me or whatever you do, you're breathing. Who is telling the respiratory system and who is telling lungs to inhale and exhale? It's again central nervous system, yeah. Uh, sorry, Shashik, I can't hear your voice. Can you... The brain. Yeah, yeah, done, done, yeah. So essentially, brain and spinal cord controls each and every organ, every organ system in your body. There are certain voluntary actions. See, when you when you move your hand like this, this is voluntary action. Yes, that sir. is under your control. And mm. how, you, how you can raise your hand is you are sending signal from brain through nerves to your hand. So it will listen, listen to you. So there are other things which are involuntary, like I, like I just said, uh, digestion. So these involuntary functions are also carried out by the brain. See, when you sleep, your, your heart doesn't stop beating, right? No. Even when you're, even when you're in sleep, uh, heart, heart beats. I mean, heart pumps its uh, blood to each and every cell. So uh, even when you're in sleep, central nervous system is active. Uh, it will take care of all the functions, yeah. Okay, sir. Now, uh, okay. what are the diseases related to the nervous system? Okay, uh, there are a lot of diseases actually uh, ranging from simple headache to uh, very complex diseases. Uh, for example, uh, headache, stroke, migraine, uh, demyelinating disorders like uh, uh, or GB syndrome, billion Barry syndrome, uh, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's. There are there are a hell lot of diseases actually. <laughs> it's not one or two. There are many 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 more diseases. Yeah. So sir, now how do we make the nerve system stronger? Like you know to make it pro function properly. Yeah, I mean we are built. I mean we are inbuilt with proper nervous system. So if you don't do certain things, that is fine. I mean, when when you if you if you take more alcohol, so it will damage your nervous system. If you smoke a lot, it will also damage your nervous system. So if you don't do certain things, that will be fine. Because our nervous system is well built and properly maintained with your diet and everything. So avoid certain things and it will take care of healthy nervous system that's all thank you sir so and sir, also uh, and also as i said uh, do yoga essentially if you have to in improve your nervous nervous system activity there are only two ways uh, either you have to uh, add more neurons into your brain or increase the activity of existing neurons as we all know that we can't put extra neurons into your brain i mean uh, i have to tell you a fact that uh, when when the nervous system is completely mature, the number of neurons will be stopped. That's all. I mean, those will not replicate. The number still remains the same. There will only decrease in the number of neurons, but there will no there will there will no increase in the number of neurons. So you can't pack more neurons. So what we can do is increase the activity of existing neurons. So uh, yoga will help. That's all. Thank you, sir. I hope everyone understood uh, about cardiology and neurology. Meet you in the next interaction with you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Shashik. Thank you.